kid growing up in Florida, the ocean and the waves and the beach was always my kind of sense of balance. When I was a teenager, I'd come and I'd walk on the beach when there was nobody here or, you know, or during the winter time, just to kind of feel like one with nature. When you're one with nature, then you gotta expect the, you gotta expect the Sandies. That's one of the things you take along with the benefits of living out in an area like this. You have to take the good with the bad. Out of the pain of Sandy, we've also found beauty. The community has found its own empowerment, its own resilience. And our community could have said, okay, let's give up. So much of the money and the fundings and the things that went to other communities didn't come to this community. But our community found something that's more precious than money. Our community found its voice. Now, two years later, I would say the mood of the people in the Rockaways is hopeful. So while we'll never get over it, it doesn't mean that we can't move forward. How are you guys doing today? How are you doing all right? Hi, it's been, oh, hi! This is good. Run, run, man, look like How are you? I don't know what we, well, we do without that granddaughter of yours. Karina, how's it going? How are you doing? Hi. How's it going? Is everything okay? Yeah. Okay, good. I saw your grandma's on the line. He's asking me where I'm from. I told him I'm American. He said I speak very good Spanish. I'm from Brooklyn, so same thing. <laughs> How you doing, baby? How are you, honey? Como esta? Bien? Ven conmigo. Ven conmigo. It's hard not to think about Sandy. I think about Sandy all the time. My family and I spent 12 days without heat and hot water. There wasn't food sometimes. There was nothing to drink at times. I felt like I was in a third world country. It, it was crazy. When I, think, when I think about Sandy, I think about um, the, the darkness and the water and, the, and all the, the helpers and the volunteers. I learned how to cook within two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> because things were was spoiling right away. Um, one person would cook uh, rice, one person would cook meat. One day someone would watch the kids, then another day others would. We learned how to come together, and now we're spreading it around. We're Rockaway Babes, an action center. Well, I became a better person. After Sandy, I started volunteering theory and helping every, everybody. Sandy gave me a... Um, inner power, great in the power of gratitude. It changed my whole opinion about where I live. I wanted to live in the projects, but not be a part of the, the projects. And I just want to be an outstanding citizen and help my community in any way I possibly can. The mood in Far Rockaway is definitely more hopeful. Two years ago, I was overwhelmed and depressed. I had to stand on the lines with my children to get aid. This year, I'm helping other people to learn how to take care of themselves. Keep moving, Get grab one and then you gotta keep moving. I got a line out the door. How you doing? Hi. How you doing? I predict that 
between now and next year, you'll see more people who have moved off the lines and who are actually giving rather than receiving. If you get your children to learn to give as well as to receive, if adults who were in despair and in need come back when they're standing on their own two feet and they give back, you are seeding a strong community. To see that actually happen over the last two years has reinforced my, my belief in people. Two years ago, we were knocked off our feet and we couldn't even crawl. A year ago, we were crawling and trying to stand up so we could take some steps and walk, but we weren't quite there. This year, I can say we're walking. We're walking. Thank you so much for coming too, I appreciate it. Can't say we're running yet, but we're walking. With our heads upright, our back stiff, we're walking. I don't look at the ocean as a foe, I, I look at it as a friend. This is our home. You know, we share it with the sand, we share, share it with the surf, and uh, we share it with the unpredictable climate. And we have to adapt and we have to change. Um, but that doesn't mean that we have to leave.